Hi, this is Pat Baird coming at you from the Maximum Yield Show. I want to take a few minutes today and just give you a little overview and a recap of Growstone. I want to talk about how it's made. I want to talk about some of its superior physical properties. First of all, Growstone is made 90, it's 98% recycled glass. We're actually located at a landfill. We take the recycled glass, just like you see here, any color, we crush it. Then we actually mill it into this consistency here. This is ground up glass. It actually feels like baby powder, it's that fine. We add a foaming agent to it, a little bit of color, goes into the kiln, 70, 80 minutes later, it comes out as growstone. And we actually make two types of product. Both products are exactly the same. We just crush them into two sizes. The larger size we market as an alternative to hydrogen for hydroponic growing. The smaller size you see here we market as an alternative to perlite. So you would use this for aeration in soil, compost, peat, uh, or cocoa core. So just to uh, give you a little demo on how well it holds water, I'm going to take a little bit of water here, a couple drops here. One of the most common growing medias uh, in hydroponics is something called hydrogen, which a lot of people think is a natural product. It's, yes, it's clay, but it, it also comes from Germany. That's where you get this clay from. It's heated up, it uses a lot of energy being heated, and then it's shipped halfway across the world from uh, Germany to the United to North America. So putting it in water, as you can see, uh, no water absorption. And all it really does is give off this ugly red clay dust which lines your reservoir, clogs your filters, clogs your pumps. You can see it there. And you can also see that it's not absorbing any water at all. Put this like that, all it does is give you more uh, red clay. But check out the grow stone. Look at that. It's like a rock sponge. It just sucks that water right up. When you apply water directly to it, it absorbs it. So growing hydroponically with hydrogen, the plants get water for the moment. Then it drains, no more water. With Growstone, it retains water. So if you have any situation with the power down, problem with your pumps, there's gonna hold water. So you'll actually use less water in your systems. The other advantage of Growstone is that the edges are a little bit sharper, rougher than what you see in hydrogen, which is good, you want that. As the roots grow down, they actually hit this edge, split, and you end up with a bigger root mass than you would with hydrogen. Growstone is reusable, but not as reusable as uh, hydrogen. With hydrogen, the roots tend to grow around it. With growstone, the roots grow into it. So you're gonna have to use something like hydrogen peroxide, uh, uh, some other chemical to actually clean out any of the organic material. If you choose not to reuse it or once you're done with Growstone, throw it out in your garden, throw it out in your lawn. It's going to eventually break down into sand, which is what glass is, and it'll be aerating your soil as it breaks down. Talking a little bit about our soil aerator here, I want to take you over here. It's commonly used in core soil compost as an aerator. Here I've mixed it in with soil. Most people use a ratio of about 30 to 40 percent growstone and maybe uh, 60 to 70 percent core or peat. It does provide 47 percent more aeration than what you get with perlite. And most importantly it doesn't float to the top of the surface. Perlite when you water your soil tends to float up and float away with growstone because of its sharper edges and rougher texture, it adheres to your soil, adheres to your core, and won't float away. We've also been told by many of our customers, and we actually have a university study starting soon, to that our Growstone Soil Aerator also makes a great material for getting rid of fungus gnats. You top dress the top of your soil with maybe about a half inch or an inch, just enough to thoroughly cover the top and Fungus gnats just go away. You don't see them landing. You don't see them laying eggs on it. It doesn't necessarily kill them. They just disappear on you, which everybody wants. So to, to recap, this superior physical properties, 98% re uh, recycled material made in the USA by Growstone.